Hello, it's the Bat Mini Painter, and uh, today we're going to paint up some uh, adapters, uh, mechanicus, electro priests, because they're cool, like really cool models, kind of freaky, kind of scary, but definitely cool, right? Blind, and uh, also I, uh, I had an idea for how to do their skin, and it worked perfectly. So that was also a motivation behind wanting to paint up these guys specifically. Now what I did is uh, I mixed magic blue and holy white from the army painter. Now holy white is not white, it's, main, it, it, it's kind of a light grey. Uh, but I made, uh, mixed them up equal parts, half and half, and added a little bit of medium to make it um, a little thinner. Um, and, and it actually, uh, like that combination was pretty much spot on. Now I'm pretty sure you can find a contrast color or speed paint that will hit their skin color precisely, but I didn't have that. So I used that one and I am happy I did. Uh, for their cloth, uh, dress thing, dress, eh, cape, that, not pants. Anywho, for that thing, uh, Mephiston uh, red, because it just seemed like an obvious choice. And I like to go for the obvious. Um, then I decided to try try out uh, a wash from Vallejo. I, I also have a red tone from the Army Painter, but that goes on kind of glossy, and I hope that the, this uh, red wash would be different. Uh, spoiler alert: It wasn't. Uh, it 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 also became kind of glossy. So I think I need to make my own. Anyhow, I fixed it later. Uh, Thundia, brown for the leather thingamabob hanging in front of what I assume is their crutch. Who really knows what's going on down there? Anyhow, it's it's a very dark brown and um, after some non all it, it looked pretty perfect. So covers back for all the black parts. Um, I, I actually prefer covers black in most cases uh, because it, it it's a bit softer black, it's a, it's a grey leathery black and it's good for hoses and shoes and gloves and stuff like that. So that's that's basically what I'm going for now when, uh, when doing uh, gloves or anything that seems to be rubber and not metal. And I'm really careful not to fuck up the skin. I'm very happy with how the skin uh, ended up looking. Next up, uh, lead belt shell uh, for the metal parts. Well, not all the metal parts, but uh, half of them, anyway. And that's, you know, basically to add some interest, of course. Um, yeah, and I, I put it on a little bit too thick some places. Um, but when it dried up, it, it wasn't that bad. So, that's that. And there is actually quite a bit of metal around on, on these models. And honestly, I was just super paranoid about hitting the skin. It's, it's rare for me to actually get uh, as decent a result as I, I got with the skin on, on these ones. It's, it's almost like the box art. Uh, next, I use a uh, bright bronze from Vallejo. Uh, I think you could use has not copper or something like that um, from Citadel if you need an equivalent. It's it's just a really bright bronze. It does the name, um, and it takes um, uh, it takes well to the shading, so it just makes really good sense for me to to use that. And. I'm basically just following the box art as as good as I I can. Retributor armor uh, for uh, the decorations on the cloth on the cock cover. Yeah, let's call it that. And I'm just trying to almost do it like an edge highlighting, uh, so I only uh, touch the raised areas. Um, I kind of failed at that. I had. I painted up five of these guys because there's five in a box. And some of them came out just great and some of them came out a little bit messy. But uh, the good news is that um, the wash uh, I gave, uh, which was a thin down non-all, coming up very soon, 
uh, actually hit 90% of uh, of my mistakes. So the end result is looking fairly decent. I decided to use uh, Abaddon Black for the belt and uh, for the uh, some of them have their eyes sewn together, so for the stitches. Some of them just have a cloth in front of them, so uh, a piece of fabric. So, yeah, it's they're, they're really creepy, I love it. And again, trying to be super careful, only hitting the little indication of a string. And there we go. Next, I used Wild Rider Red to add highlights to a cloth. And uh, I decided to cover it up with my hand, so you can't see what's actually going on. But believe me, that's what's going on uh, on the other side of my hand. Uh, I tried moving the camera, didn't really work that well. So we're back to having the camera here. Um, I just have to be more aware of where my hand is compared to the model and the brush. So I've, I've only done like 66 videos, so I'm bound to learn soon, right? God, I hope so. Next, Dawnstone, and that's just to add a little bit of highlight on the gloves and uh, on the uh, hoses. Uh, basically because, well, I, I just want to do a little something extra. Um, and on the tabletop, no one will ever see this, but I know I did it. So, finally, as the last thing, uh, non oil, and I actually thinned it down uh, so it's half and half with the flow improver for uh, for the airbrush. Um, I'm, I'm complaining about non oil uh, being um, too heavy, heavily pigmented. And it doesn't really go into the recesses, but just darken everything. And I just had this brain aneurysm telling me that maybe a flow improver would make it flow into the recesses and I would get the result that I wanted. And honestly, I'm right. I'm absolutely brilliant and I didn't even see it uh, anywhere on YouTube or uh, someone else doing this to non-oil. It was just an idea. So, hey, go and do that. Um, and the final product, the end result. Now, I, I can see a lot of mistakes on these models, but all in all, I'm happy. This was a decent result. It, it doesn't happen often to me, but this looks decent. I need to uh, to correct uh, some mistakes and the, the texture on the base. I did a shut job of that. I went back and fixed that later, uh, but all in all, I'm happy. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. It was a super easy way to paint these guys uh, without any pain, and for tabletop, this is this is fine. I'm I'm not going to uh, be overly praising of myself, but this is uh, definitely fine for the tabletop. And a little closer look on the on the end result. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Please do subscribe um, if you haven't done so already. If you didn't, then don't. Um, but nonetheless, thank you so much for your time. Time is a limited resource and I'm, uh, I'm humbled that you decided to spend uh, 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 8 minutes listening to me rambling on. Hope you have an awesome day and uh, bye.